but we've actually modified stamina shrines so the value might change but currently stamina shrines give you 50 percent velocity so if you pick up a stamina shrine not only do you have unlimited stamina but you also run faster uh, we've also changed it so that the res shrines give plus five percent max res so let's just say you find a resist fire shrine a resist fire shrine will give you plus five percent max fire res a cold like for example, uh, I changed it so double throw actually only bounces five times now instead of eight. But even at five bounces, it's insane. All right, chat. So another change I want to talk about. Uh, I know a lot of people like doing bail runs, but a lot of people don't like waiting for the bail waves. We have actually reduced the time between bail waves by 50%. So bail actually spawns waves 50% faster than he did previously. Alright, if you mouse over the arrows, it'll show the stats. You're right, it will. Alright, we'll hover over some arrows, chat. Deadly strike? Correct. Deadly strike. Literally first one is GG. So yeah, some of these are pretty good. They're like shields lol. Yeah, they're weaker than shields, but in terms of res. But they are kind of like uh, Amazon shields to a degree. This is the one that I rolled earlier that I thought was pretty good. IS, flat damage, DS, yep. All kinds of stuff you can get. So you can now make obedience in hammers. So if you want to... Um, Use an obedience on an A5 Merc. Then uh, you can use it on an A5 Merc. What he did with the uh, Skelly Archers. So the change or the rework is actually a decoy rework. And essentially what the rework is, is decoy now uses strafe. So essentially if you want to play a summoners on now, you play a decoy and Valkyrie summons on. Just trap summon hybrid, right? Not enough mana. So you're an assassin, yeah, kind of. You're kind of an assassin, assassin uh, summoner hybrid. 